Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, my name is Cordant and we're back for some more Baldur's Gate 2. In the last episode we were cruising about the graveyard district and we noticed some weird sounds coming from this open grave. The grave is only partially filled, the gravekeeper must be lazy. Within a few minutes you have reached the coffin. You open it to find a corpse and a man who is quite obviously alive. You help him out of the coffin. Oh, bless you, my lord, bless you. <laughs> I did not know how much longer I would survive buried in there as I was. Who are you and how did you end up being buried alive? I, I, was, bu I was buried by the man who kidnapped me. They held me for ransom for my family. And after my family had paid, they knocked me out. I, I remember being carried here and thrown into that grave next to another body, and then they buried me alive. I am sure, I am sure I would have died if you have not arrived so soon. What a horrid death these evil men had had in store for me! Oh, mm. these men must be stopped. What can you tell me about them? <clears throat> I don't know their names. There were three of them. The youngest carried me here. He dressed all in red. Strange and bright as you please. I woke up with this in my hand. I think I must have torn it off his shirt when he threw me into the grave. Here, perhaps it will help you find him. Is there anything else you can think of? Only that there was someone who spoke to this man. Perhaps the gravekeeper. You should talk to him at least. He must have seen something. Hmm. Thank you. I shall do my best to locate these men and bring them to justice. <clears throat> Bless you, my lord. I wish you well. I must return to my family now and let them know I am still alive. Thank you, Helm, for watching over me. Yeah, it was not Helm. It was I. So be it. I think the gravekeeper, the gravekeeper is over here. This senor called Settle. Yes. You got business here, or you're just like walking on the graves? What in all the hell is going on here? I demand answers. I don't know what you're talking... I, I haven't done anything wrong. I'm just a simple gravekeeper. Ain't no crime here. Don't toy with me. I'll plant you in one of your, your bleh, In one of your own graves. Ooh, this is getting complicated. I didn't do anything. Almost nothing. He would have killed me if I hadn't helped. Talk, or it will be the end of you. I don't know nothing. I just let them bury what they want when I fill the graves. It's a man in red what I see. He's the one. He pays gold and I turn my head. You want him? Where is he now? Tell me. I didn't know where he I don't know where he is. He comes here. Look, I help you. I think I see him sometimes by the bridge bridge district. There, I help good. You're not gonna tell anyone, are you? Are you? Pathetic creature. Run away. Far away. Don't you ever come back. No, gotta run. Gotta get away. <laughs> get away, bitch. What can we find here? Order 66. Oh, this doesn't look like the usual gravekeeper thing. Uh, <clears throat> these mummies... I can hear you just fine. These mummies are disconcerting. Good. Out. Do it. They don't follow me, don't do it. You're not gonna follow me, right? No. Okay, so we have a piece of red cloth. Which apparently belongs to some people who've been kidnapping other people. And they have been seen in the bridge district. I, I could go to the bridge district and also take care of the, the Skinner, the Skinner murder quest. What? <coughs> is this a ghost? Mama? Papa? Is that you? What manner of spirit are you? Why are you not at rest? Spirit? I... My name is Wellen. I just want... I just want my stuffed bear back. Your stuffed bear? It's my favorite bear, Little Man. The bad man who came into our house, he, he hurt me and he took Little Man with everything else. I can never go to sleep without Little Man. 
A thief killed you and took your stuffed bear along with the rest of his loot. If I found this bear for you, would you be at peace? Oh yes, I could go to sleep if only I had him. Would you get it for me? Would you? Please, 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 please? Very well. Do you know where your bear is? Yes, the bad man has it at that inn in the slums. The cop or something. He's in one of those bedrooms in the back. I think his name is Linus. <clears throat> this is actually someone we've met before. I've... I've gone to him. I've tried to tell him that I just want my bear, please, but he just gets too frightened of me. Oh, please get it for, from him. <clears throat> we shall bring justice to this man. Not only did he murder a child, he also took his stuffed bear. Uncool, my friend. Uncool. Let's let's take care of this first. It's treason. And I keep I keep getting sidetracked. I wanted to take care of <laughs> of Corgan's quest, but everything just keeps Jacqueline. making me go another way. Okay. So this guy is over here in these upper rooms. I think in this one. We met him before, but Okay, so this is one of the old guards. <laughs> he is apparently still alive. Never mind. What? Yo, what? Why is this on the floor? What the hell just happened here? Jan Janssen, at your service. I carry the world if I could, but you'll have to package it smaller. What the hell just happened here? Wait, wait a minute. What the hell just happened here? Have I dropped this on the ground like an idiot? Oh my god, I think I did! It's a good thing I didn't rest. Oh my lord. <coughs> so, <coughs> let's give this to Jan. Let's give this to Mr. Corgan here. So, but wait, wait, wait. Sling plus two, sling plus two, sling plus two. Sling of seeking. What the hell happened here? I don't fully understand, but... My best guess is I dropped those items sometime because of something, and then I forgot about it. <sighs> oh well. Corgan, go speak to this senor here. I need a swig of some strong dwarven ale. Oh, it's you again. What is it you want now? Your name is Linus, right? Well, yes it is. How did you know that? I am here to avenge the murder of a little boy, thief. What? How did you know about that? Well, you'll not take me alive. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Cor Block the door, Corgan. Come on, fight Corgan. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. He had little man. Marvelous tale, gnome. Well told, well told. Only blight on you is that trimmed beard and that old some pointy pickle hanging off your face. <laughs> I guess he's talking about <clears throat> about Jan. Wonderful. <clears throat> so let's take the bear. Let's break this open. Can I? I cannot. Uh, yes, yes. Wonderful. A standard tactic that. Ooh. Oh, come on. Give me the jewelry. 
And I have so much Execute stuff. Order 66. I need to do Hexet's quest for for the bag of holding. Actually, I'm gonna rest <coughs> to recuperate some of my spells. Do you see a lot of melfs? You don't have melfs anymore, okay. You also don't have stone skin. Hmm. Okay. I got some cheap beer for ya. Let's have a rest. Do it. Let's go. We are going to take a stroll into the bridge district. We're going to do something about the, the Skinner murders and also about this kidnapping victim. Bridge. Patience, my friend. And I think first of all we can actually deal with the Skinner murders. Why are you named? Okay, I'm hungry. Now, we had heard something about people getting killed, especially beggars and stuff. My prices are the best south of Waterdeep. You there! Desire you the freshest fish in all of Atkatla. I swear to you that there is less sewage in the water here than, <laughs> than there is over in the docks. Fewer bodies too, till lately. Uh, why have there been more bodies lately? We used to get only a few bodies a week in the water, but now, betwixt the thieves' war and this nasty skinning business, the numbers have increased. Skinning business? That's what I said. Some fool biggie has been robbing folks of more than their lives. He's been sw uh, swiping their skin as well, go figure. Do you have any idea why someone might want to do such a thing? Beats me. Check with that Aegis Agus fellow. <clears throat> He's the army fool who's investigating the affair. Nice guy, kind of stupid. He hasn't solved it yet, you see. <laughs> Thanks for the information. Okay, so we, we have spoken to him before. <clears throat> now we're gonna speak to the beggars. Rampa. Who's that? Who's poking old Rampa? <clears throat> what you want? Get off! Aegis Field sent you? I ain't stole nothing. <laughs> Shut up and listen. I wanna know what you know about the murders. I ain't done it. Wasn't me, I swears. You ain't taking me to no guard house. Walls are bad. <coughs> Dude, I'm not from the guards. I just want to ask you a few things. Not from the guards? Okay, then I talk to you. They treat me bad sometimes, but I just want to sleep. What do you want? Tell me what you know of the murders here. Nothing. Not a thing. Nothing. Not a thing. The guard thought you might. Don't know nothing. Guard kept us away. They know all I know. That's it. But. <laughs> but. But I got something they don't. I got what they don't. They be blind, but I saw it. And now it's mine. What did you get, Rampa? What did you find? Not telling. You want? You gotta buy. I found it right near the body. It's mine, so you gotta pay. You pay 100 gold. Yeah, 100. I do not have that much gold. No? No? Okay, then you pay half. Give me 40 gold. <laughs> I also don't have that much. Then you give me 5 gold. Yeah, now you give me 5 gold. Sure, dude. Alright, here's your 5 gold. What did you find? You want this. Okay, so I dropped some there. It's not human flesh. Don't you think it is because it's not? It's leather, but it's not human flesh, I tell you. Them bodies be flayed and have none, but this ain't theirs. Thank you, Rampa. I'll be going now. <coughs> you good and go. Take that leather because it's not human flesh. That is different. You go and dance now. Talk to the seller that buys. What the hell? Give me my glasses. Exotic hide. This leather is thick and coarse, unlike even the heaviest hide from a cow or another domesticated animal. The creature this came off 
of of must be exotic indeed. Okay, so who can you find here that's gonna help us with this? We have Rose Bouquet. <clears throat> Hello there, handsome. What is it that Rose can do for you? Need a little rest and relaxation from your travels? Oh. Perhaps, though I'm more interested in a little information right now. Information costs just like anything else. If you've got the coin, I'll chit chat as long as you like. 20 gold to your tastes. We'll have a nice long talk. Sure, 20 gold. I'll pay a little fee. <clears throat> Good. Talk all you want then. I'll be your sympathetic here. What's on baby's mind? <laughs> the guards seem to think you saw something at a recent murder. That Aegisfield talks too much. I told them what I saw, which was nothing. A man in a hood, that's all I saw. Didn't know the poor saw that died. Wait, there was something. A smell, besides the blood I mean. I think I smelled... Girdleberries. Yeah, that's it, girdleberries or something like it. <clears throat> I don't know how to pronounce this, by the way, I'm sorry. <laughs> girdleberries? What are they used for? I can't recall. The guard didn't seem to think the information was important, they just laughed. I would probably recognize, if, recognize it if I smelled it again. Talk to that merchant, Bell. He might know what smells like that. I'll see if I can choose between whatever he suggests. That'll help you, sweetie. Uh, okay. Thank you, I'll be back as soon as I can. I'll be waiting. You bought your time. Okay, so here I'm actually gonna make some space. Because he will give us some stuff. <coughs> Let's hope I don't forget it this time. What can I do for you today? You seem a bit agitated. Anything you need? I wish to know if you can identify this piece of leather. It is a little odd. Let me see. Hmm, looks quite thick indeed. Very rare, but I have seen it before. This is elephant hide. Good for strong armor, but I rarely see it. Elephant hide? Where would someone get such leather? <clears throat> the obvious answer would be from an elephant. Oh, thank you. No, you are not in a joking mood, are you? Well, there are perhaps a few places one might get such a hide. A tanner might see such hide on occasion, though it would be rare. Might be difficult to work with as well. I do not hear about such things all that often. If you want to know more, you might speak You might speak to an actual tenor. There's one not far from here, in the houses to the south. Regiek, if I remember his name. <clears throat> There's also a circus in town. I don't know if they have elephants, but the animal tamer would have certainly seen some in the past. Do you need anything else? I also wanted to ask if you knew what would smell like girlberries. Locally? Well, let me think. I know of three things with that smell. Girdleberries are one, and the bark of the oak is similar. And solic berries too. Uh, what would these things be used for locally? Well, I do a brisk business in girdleberries. They are used in folk remedies, turned into topical salves for <clears throat> intimate afflictions. <laughs> oh god. Oak bark is used to make tannin, I believe. Natural curative agent for working with skins, been in use for centuries. There's a tanner, Regic Heidsman, nice name, who has his shop near here. He might have some tannin. I'm not sure. Might be worth it to, might be worth it to ask him. <clears throat> Solic berries are used in a local bakery for their signature mumbleberry pie. Very tasty, but they are closed now. It is the berries off season. I have some of each if you wish, free of charge because it's been a slow day. Was there anything else? No, thank you. As you wish. I will be here if you wish to return. So this guy actually gave us three items that apparently smell like girl berries and the prostitute is gonna help us identify it. <clears throat> Back again, this has to be the weirdest question I've ever asked a customer, but do you have what you wanted me to smell? <laughs> yes I do, he gave me three things for you to sample. Alright then, I'll have a look, let me have those. Mmm, <clears throat> oh! Hmm. I've just remembered why I knew it smelled like girlberries. Eh, that was not the man, what the man smelled like. Oh, no wonder the guards were laughing. Never mind. Next. Hmm. Solic berries. Mumbleberry pie, right? That's not the smell, though. 
Good thing too, I'd hate to think of the murders every time I smell the pie. Next. Hmm, that's the one. This tree bark stuff? It was stronger smelling on him though. This is the same, but it's faint. What would make him smell like this? It's oak bark. It's used to make tannin for making leather. So you might have worked with leather. Odd. Well, I hope that helped. You've got what you wanted. Off with you now. Perhaps... No. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, so let's take our items back. <clears throat> before I forget. And let's go check out... This tanner fellow. Tanner shop, right here. It's open. I'm sorry I am closed at the moment. Come back when I have replenished my stock. Mm -hmm. Why are you closed? Hiding something, are you? I don't know what you're getting at. I wanted to ask you about the murders that have happened recently. The guards have already canvassed the neighborhood, so if you want anything, go talk to them. I don't know who or what you are, so I'm not talking to you. You had better. Elephant hide and tenon were found where people died. I see. You have gathered this uh, evidence. I, I love I love voice acting in this game, I gotta tell you. <laughs> I suppose others will know of this as well then. Then it will not stop with your leaving. It is funny, isn't it? A simple piece of leather and a whiff of tannin. If my leather have not been torn, I would not have worn the new armor. No tear would have meant no smell. I knew it. It all led to you. You'll be coming to the garrison with me. <laughs> so, you're admitting to being the killer. Why do you do this? I might as well try to explain the sun to the moon. You can't understand. My work must go on. There is only one place left for my craft to go and you cannot stand in the way. So and off he goes. What? Okay. <clears throat> so here... Oh. I'm interested in whether your clan has ever had interaction with House de Vere. Interesting. <laughs> it seems to me, if memory serves, that our sphere of influence was quite close to your Blood Axe clan stronghold near... Oh god. Tal... Tha, tal... 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 God. Tal... Thalra... Vernt... Zitla... Ar... Olon... Oth... God. Nay speak that vile tongue to me, black skin. If it moves, I've killed it, but if it be drow, I've tortured it for days first. <laughs> Wonderful. The beginning of a new friendship. As for that house of yours, I burned it and relieved myself on the embers and dead. And the necklace of dark Elfirs fetched me a king's ransom in Waterdeep. <clears throat> okay, lovely. Don't yell. I can hear you. So, Jan, why are you detecting traps? Because I had AI off. Sometimes I don't know how I do things. I'll be honest. <laughs> no traps? Cool. Oh, come on. I gotta do some inventory management really soon. Take this. Okay. Execute order sixty-six. Dost. Carefully, Palpatine, we enter the lair of a most foul beast. It is his nature, no doubt, to protect this place with traps. We should not be over hasty. <clears throat> Thank you, Vaconia. Jan Jansen got it. Oh Jesus Christ, it scared me, I don't know why. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm fine. God, there's a lot of traps. Search for more. There's dead people everywhere. And entrails. Wonderful. Something on the bed. Okay. What do you have killed for less? You've killed for less. I can actually clear some space by doing this, I suppose. Okay. 
Jewelry. Protection from fire potion. Do we have none? We do not. It's starting to become a bit cumbersome. God damn it. Hmm. Okay. Tanner's letter. <clears throat> I am bid to write. You will witness the final destruction of the alliance and the end of your insignificant rebellion. Not the best of times. Let me just pause the game. <laughs> so Tanner's letter. I am bid to write this by those we serve. You who carry out the work, I am your humble servant. When at last you need the final ingredient for the grand project, I shall be the one that brings it to you. Seek me out in the hills of Umar and signal your identity with the purchase of the book, The History of the Zintarim. <clears throat> this will identify you, for I do not know your name, nor should I. The need for security is paramount, so you must also utter my secret name, constructed from the name of your immediate master. There will be no mistake with this method. Our names are the same in their scale and their cut. The last of his begins just as the first of mine. The second of my first is the second of his first, though regressed to full four letters. Oh god. The third of my first is four more than the last of his first. The entire last of my first is the last of his first, except the first one of these is the first of my last. <laughs> The first of his last is mine plus one. <clears throat> the next of my last is the last of his first plus one. The last of my last are third and second coming in first for him. I am sorry for such games, but it is certain that only you shall know this. I await your arrival. Interesting. We'll be taking that, not this though. Good. What else is over here? Nothing. <clears throat> okay. So, in case this friend has some nasty surprise waiting for us, let's actually do something here. And buff up. Okay, <clears throat> let's see what we can find. Do it. Oh god. Okay, so we have some ghosts. This shouldn't be a problem. <clears throat> I'm just gonna have mirror image on myself. Jan's gonna do the same. I'm curious about what this guy has to say. This is Velen Don. He looks like a wizard. No, you will have no victory here. Regiek must work on. <clears throat> hmm. What is this? You support this fiend? He has chosen to work the gift and has escaped your reach. He will continue, and your skins will be the final touches. No talk. You will die here. Velendon does so command. Ah, wonderful. <clears throat> so he commands my death. Go over there and murder him, please. Victory shall be ours. I'm going to wait with Vaconia to see what the hell is going to happen here. It shall be done you can shoot him. And, care, if not and you can also shoot him. Hmm. Berserk. <clears throat> Let's maybe clear out these first. Wait. Rune assassins. I thought I heard something about planting a blade in the gut. Jacques. Let's do something here, Vaconia. I don't want you to die. <coughs> so, sanctuary, please. Let's hope she casts it in time. 
And the rest of us can just keep on killing. Oh, so he's gone. Oh, no. More rune assassins and a bone golem. Okay, Vaconia is safe. Excuse me? Did he just hit me through... He hit me through Sanctuary. <clears throat> Yo. This makes absolutely no sense. I shall follow your strength. How? Don't yell. Uh, you go over there. How is he attacking Vaconia? I mean, this has got to be a bug. <laughs> Am I missing something? Guides my hand. Let me not make a fool of myself, but... <clears throat> when the priest casts Sanctuary spell, it causes all of his opponents to ignore his existence as if he were invisible. While protected by this spell, the subject cannot take direct offensive action without breaking the spell, but may... Okay. He shouldn't be able to even see me. Jorn Jonsson at your service. I don't like this. Let's see if we can find the guy. <coughs> Come on. Thoughts are disrupted. Victory shall be ours. You're kidding me. You know this destiny awaits. This does not make any sense. She's gonna... No, 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 no. What the hell just happened here? Like, seriously. So be it. Be quick with it. This is not normal. Sure, sure. Go berserk. Kill stuff. Shoot this one. How? How are they attacking Vaconia? Okay, so I guess there's something going on. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna have to check this later, but... <clears throat> uh, okay. Well, she has Armor of the Faith. Just gonna buff up. Cast through seeing, even though I don't think it's gonna do much. Let's have Jan reveal stuff. This is a joke. Oh well. You need my skills, I see. Let's see what your good been looking like. That is lost. Farkeroras already. You sound like Goladon. I am your well. to trust us for the flesh. Dead. What good? Execute. No sense to me, but sure. Shaw, guide my hand. Kill him. This isn't boring. I'll give it that. No mercy for those who oppose us. Kill it. Okay, well I'm gonna have to check what the hell happened here because this isn't normal. You want this. Be quick with it. Don't you? At no least more. not to me. But I may my might just be being silly. I'll carry no I don't think more. I need the short swords, but I might as well 
because I can store this here. Yes, I can. Okay. <clears throat> so you take this and this. Do it. And my friends. What is there a griffin about? Okay, so there are more traps. Yes, yes, a standard tactic that. A ship was recently attached to this platform and made a hasty getaway into the cavern's depths. Okay, so I guess <coughs> Tanner got away. Ooh! Gimme. Give Gimme Give all the scroll. Ooh. Hide armor. Barrel. Okay. It's treason then. Maybe these rune assassins are special in some way. Victory shall be ours. Well, I think it's actually the first time I tried using sanctuary there, so maybe they can see through invisibility. <clears throat> I do not rightly know. But I was pretty convinced that this is the start, it was kind of a bug. I wish to apologize for attempting to unburden myself upon you before. I was foolish to be so weak in Berigost, and worse yet to speak to you about it. It's fine, Viconia. <clears throat> Talking is no weakness, Viconia, you went through a horrid experience. I have had nothing but ill encounters with surfacers since I fled Berigost. Their constant spite burns within my soul. I spit upon them. Gibberish. <laughs> my entire existence has been thus since I fled the Underdark. Surfacers hate the draw without relent and I erred in thinking otherwise even for a moment. <clears throat> Not everyone hates the draw so completely, Vaconia. I don't think you're so terrible. Ooh. You would think me terrible enough, Abil, if you knew enough about me. I am Drow. Make no mistake about that. So be it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this tenor business is done. Let's go speak to this senor over here. And then we also need to... F this guy is actually dressed in red. Have a look at my wares. I trust you'll find them all in satisfactory condition. Okay, so no option for that. But I do need to find someone dressed in red. To see if we can find our kidnapper. Just worthless stuff on the ground. Hello, Eggisfield. Oh, it's you again. I see you are back. Have you heard anything that might help me in finding the crazy that has been killing people? I have found out who it is. It was a tenor, Regiek. It was a tenor? You've exposed him? What is your evidence in this? Tenor in leather on the scene. His home held other victims too. Sounds like you did some excellent work. I am grateful. We're short on men to investigate crimes where the poor suffer. You will be well liked around here. Here is a reward for your trouble, though it's probably not over yet. I'll have the guard try and spot Regiek, but who knows what he will do. I thank you again. <laughs> Man, as soon as you get a little bit of reputation... <sighs> so we got 45,000 experience. Pretty nice. And 500 gold, which is kind of irrelevant. <clears throat> but yeah, the experience is very good. So, our friend dressed in red. I don't really remember where he is. We have a beggar. Baltis is a state. Rather outlandish folk to be wandering round here. Okay. Pip. Welcome to the home of Acton Baltis, <clears throat> currently vice regent for the Council of Atkatla. My lord. Uh, lord Baltis is not here. Might I ask your purpose? Hmm. 
Vice Regent? I thought all members of the Council were secret. <coughs> Lord Balthus is not a member of the Council per se, but he acts on their behalf. Someone must govern, even when the Councils are not in session. Now, if that is everything, I shall have to ask you to leave, my Lord. Lord Baltis would wish the privacy of his home respected. Do not disturb my duties. Oh, <clears throat> you there? You are trespassing in the home of the vice, vice regent of At uh, bleh, the vice regent of Atkatla. You will remove yourself from this place immediately. Okay, so we're gonna leave because I'm curious as if there is something interesting over there that can be done. It's treason. Because some of these quests I don't really remember. Okay, we have an inn here. The tenor shop. We also have this derelict house. I'm not sure if that's what I'll find the red man. Or the man dressed in red, I should say. Oh god. Man, sometimes the sounds of the buffs going out scare me. <laughs> you shall never have her, you ridiculous fool. The hell? No. It is you that shall never have her. She loves me. No. She loves me. Me. Boys, boys, <laughs> don't fight over me, please. Bubbles. Fight over her? What an excellent idea. Yes, we shall fight over our beloved Bubbles. Yes, that sounds most wonderful. Shall we start now? Certainly, if you wish to. Certainly. Well, fine. Go ahead then, if that's what you boys have to do. <coughs> most excellent. I have defeated the loathsome Carvos. Come, my blood bubbles. Let us go. You splattered blood on my dress, you ignorant dolt. I'm not going anywhere with you. Bubbles, but... But Bubble, but I love you, my chicken pot pie. Come back. Okay. <clears throat> this is Shank. It's a very interesting um, dialogues we have here. Okay, so derelict home. What the hell is this? Uh, traps, per se? Per chance, I mean? Oh. Come to Papa. <clears throat> I like finding money. I love money. Yes, I do. I'll carry no more. Be on the ground if you want. Ground. Okay. I feel your anger. So not here. So be it. Temple of Helm, I doubt it. We have a couple of houses here. Maybe he's on the streets even. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This looks very promising, I would say. What? These numb nuts are confused with the pathfinding. And I think this is actually a good place to stop. Because we have an objective for the start of the next episode. To speak with this sir here, Ham C. So, yeah, we're going to end this one here. So, as always, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have, are having a fun time watching some Baldur's Gate 2 here in the channel with me. If you have any thoughts, any questions, leave a comment. If you want to get notified about future videos coming to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. So, until then, stay safe, everyone.